So in one of Merrill's latest videos, he was talking about comparing the MindLab Xterra with the MindLab Manticore. And perfect analogy, and it's the same thing I would use, is I own a 2014 Honda Accord. Great car, gets great gas mileage. But now it's 2023, and Honda has come out with an even better Honda Accord, right? Same thing with metal detectors. So back in 2019, the Simplex, the Simplex Plus was launched, note to launch that machine, and they put some cool features on it. Waterproof to 10 feet, ground balance, all that great stuff. It was a great comparison detector to the Garrett AT Pro at the time. Now, it's been, what, four or five years? They have upgraded that machine and they have launched a new generation series of the Simplex. And the one I have is the Simplex Ultra. And I want you to take a look at this machine because I've been going to this one property several times. I think I took the Simplex out there once and then I've been to it several times with the Legend. And I want you to take a look at what I found here. Nothing like greatness, no, you know, 1800, 1700 silver, anything like that. But again, I've been to this property, the one little small front yard, I've been there several times metal detecting, using the old Simplex, using the Legend. But take a look what the Simplex Ultra pulled out of the ground after me detecting this several times in the past. Watch it. I got a 76 right here. First target. It's not even deep either, let's see. Yeah, maybe four or five inches at the most. This place has always been good to me. The lady here is really nice. At least we just come dig. I don't even have to knock on her door. She just says come dig, so. Pretty awesome. Let's see, is it in the plug or? Oops, it's in the hole. Let's see what it be. Oh, there it is. It's got a gear on it. Anyway, some sort of piece of something got a gear right there. And this is the yard that I've probably found 200 coins in. Found that ring in the front yard that time. Found some silver. I think I found two or three silver coins in this yard. It's a little front yard right here in front of this little house. Let's see. That's a 67, which is, you know, like a penny. So it probably is. But there it is right there. It's not a penny. It's one of them aluminum bottle caps. Can't get away from them things. All right, so done about 15 holes and got the first coin of the evening. It's just a penny and it's modern, so no big deal. I'm gonna move to the side yard. I haven't really detected over there much. So I'm gonna move to the side yard and see what we get. I was gonna go to the side yard, but I hadn't finished up here yet. That's my third penny right here within about a four foot square. It's crazy. Two in one hole. I have metal detected this yard four or five times and these coins are like growing out here. This my yard would do that. Just keep digging out of the same yard forever. Yo, know, I've had the legend out here multiple times. If if this is a coin, and this is near the surface. <laughs> if this is a coin, then the legend missed it because I've been over all of this ground. That just means you gotta hit the same property several times and use different machines. Go when it's really wet, too. That helps. Let's see where it has in there. God. It's weird. Okay, I see a coin. I see two coins. No, just one. <laughs> this is so strange. Uh, it's just modern, but it's uh, older. It's like 70s. I literally grab my machine, stand up, and it goes off. And I get back on the ground again, and or I pinpoint it, and that's usually another coin. Crazy. I j I've dug this. That's amazing, though. That's awesome. Makes for fun digging. I don't care if it is modern stuff. Makes for fun digging it up. See? Another modern penny, but 70s probably. 60s. I got a definite target right here. Don't know what it is, but... This is where I found that silver rosy dime at. It was right in here. Not rosy, it was a mercury dime. 
So I figured, you know what? I'm still getting targets here. Why move? This might be something good. I mean, it's showing up 84. So, you know. Oh, yeah, 84, 86. It's in the plug. So, regardless, I'm having a great time. I was at work all day thinking, man, I'd get home and get digging some. So here we are. All right, so this is something round. It's not a coin. No, that's some kind of aluminum. Aluminum something. She rang up good though. I, I just pulled a bullet casing out of the hole. And I was like, well, maybe there's something in the plug. And there is. It's a, uh, let me turn it over. See, some sort of a, um, cap or something for a, maybe a spigot handle or something crazy right here in front right here next to this stump and penny <laughs> modern but it's a copper though good grief same hole just got another penny and a 22 shell casing what in the world boom i just found a wheat penny guys that right there looks like a square nail there's some wash right here and you can see some pottery and stuff but there was a square nail just come out. Right here is a wheat, wheat scent. Got it, see that weedy? I mean, you can probably read it right there a little bit. One cent. Too dark to even film and I'm still finding coins. If I find something really good in the next couple minutes, I'll let you know. If not, we'll wrap this up. This is crazy. Coins everywhere in the same yard I've been detecting for months. Probably seven or eight times right here in this little bitty yard. I've got the light on on this thing you can see in my hand right there i'm gonna dig one more target it's getting dark it's my last target i'm done i gotta get home this lady's gonna be wondering why i'm still in her yard she don't care but sure she don't want me out here all night crazy now it's showing 77 Uh, it's a washer <laughs> all right well i've had my fun tonight and uh let's gather up everything and make sure ain't nothing else in here we need to worry about oh it is a coin look at that it's a coin it's a modern penny copper probably 70s but i i got some i got some conclusions on this machine so let's let's clean up get back to the house and we'll talk about it I, I honestly was shocked the whole the whole time I'm out there I was shocked at the amount of signals that I was getting in that yard now I know that I was also getting those signals with the legend maybe not all of them or maybe the legend was picking up other ones but this simplex ultra picked up those signals and was picking up targets that I didn't even know were still there because I've pulled out tons of pennies out of this yard I don't know what the kids were doing in this yard. I don't know if they had a if they robbed a bank, a piggy bank, and 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 they went out there and scattered the coins in the front yard in the 1970s. <laughs> but there's a whole lot of pennies out there, and I still believe there's a lot more. So we're going to go back out there. I'm going to put that thing in coin mode next time. I didn't have it in coin mode this time. I had it in uh, four tone. I'm going to put that thing in coin mode next time, and I'm going I'm going to do the coin mode on the simplex ultra again and let's see how many more coins we can pull out of that ground but until then it was a fun day just had a couple about an hour and a half to dig it got dark on me quick so i had to just end it quickly so i think i was out there maybe 50 minutes maybe an hour but anyway hope you enjoyed the video hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated see you